Yeah, he sent it. He sent the 10K like, hey, look, y'all tag walk. You know, I probably was mis misinformed about. But you hear me, y'all, y'all gotta realize this, my mm, brother. I ain't, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to blemish your image, bro. You did your part. You did that. I was just saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know my brother would have wanted you at his firm. You know what I'm saying? Show your face. Show your face, please. With sugar on top. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, all right, y'all, this is a prime example of <laughs> when your parents told you to mean what you say and say what you mean so you don't have to apologize after you say what you say because you meant what you said. All right, and in other words, your boy Quest Ruthless, aka the brother of Big Scar, rest in peace. He had a lot to say via Instagram, social media, period, when it came to pretty much discrediting Gucci Man and alleging that he didn't pay any money towards Big Scar's funeral. Now, if he was anything like me when it first, you know, came about, it was a little sketchy because we like, all right, you know, how in the world Gucci Man being Gucci Man <laughs> not contribute nothing to Big Scar's funeral? You know, I even said that back in one of the videos. I said, listen, uh, I can't go against the family because if they're saying that Gucci Mane didn't um, contribute anything, then that's one thing because at that point, there was a horse's mouth. So if they're saying that Gucci Mane didn't contribute nothing, then we have nothing, you know, to say until Gucci Mane issues a response. But like I also said, Gucci Mane pretty much kept it player. They're like, yo, listen, I ain't about to do this social media back and forth. I'm not even going to respond. In fact, his wife responded with receipts of $10,000 stating that they did contribute um, to the funeral. Now, I knew something was iffy there because they went from saying that Gucci didn't give no money to saying that he gave a quote unquote little 10K. All right. Now, I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, 10K for a funeral ain't no little 10K. 10K ain't a little nothing, period, to the average person. You know, especially for a funeral. So, when it came to that whole situation, that was a red flag right there. They say Gucci Man didn't give nothing. Then when it was proved that he gave 10K, then they said, well, he gave a little 10K. All right, that was a little sketchy. Then they didn't want to get the chains back. Like, I ain't trying to be fun, no disrespect, bro. You, like, we still going to keep trying and all that, bro. I respect you, you hear me? It ain't no smoke, none of it here. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Then they stunned with the chains. Then they lost me when they went to the funeral and actually shot a music video at this man's funeral. Straight disrespect. All right. Now, anyway, um, Quez Ruthless, he takes the Instagram live once again, but this time he's apologizing to Gucci Man. Um, saying he's, he didn't say sorry. But he pretty much said he's not trying to blemish Gucci Mane's rap and, you know, Gucci Mane, a real one. He did send 10K, but he didn't show up to the funeral and he did block his folks. All right. Now, first and foremost, it's a little too late. You already blemished. <laughs> you already blemished the man's character. You know, thankfully, his wife, Keisha, she came out. Like I said, Gucci Mane didn't really respond. Only thing he did was repost what his wife put. But if you was, you know, if you left it up to Gucci Mane, he wasn't going to respond. And I get it. That man too old to be going back and forth on social media with some young kids about paying for a funeral if you know, in fact, you gave 10000 for the funeral. You know? So it makes perfect sense. Now, here's where it gets a little sketchy once again, man. Now, if y'all remember, the sister came out and said, well, listen, you know, they gave 10 k but the casket alone was 15 k All right, if y'all remember that. Now, fast forward to now, they're asking, well, if you bury Big Scar, why do y'all have his jewelry? Why you didn't put his jewelry in the casket? Quez Rufus, 
came out and said, quote, he was cremated. <laughs> why, why we ain't bury him with his chains? Bro, he, my brother got cremated. You can't do that, dummies. And you put in the ground. He got cremated. That's why we still got the chain. Crazy. You know, we can't put it because he was cremated. And even if we wanted to put it in the casket, the funeral home wasn't going to let us, the morgue, whatever, wasn't going to let them. However, the key word, uh, the key phrase he said is that his brother was cremated. Now, I don't know how this goes. I like to, when I talk, I don't know how everywhere it goes, but I'm going to tell you where I'm from and how it goes. When you're cremated, you do not have a casket. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe they worked something out. I, I don't know. But I'm a little lost. Like I said, y'all could um, fill me in, give me a little information. Maybe it can't go a certain way. You can request a, um, a, a casket for whatever reason. But usually how it goes, when you get cremated, you do not have a casket. So which one is it? Was the casket 15000 or was he cremated? You see what I'm saying? So that's one of the things that kind of lost me. You know, not to mention he's apologizing to Gucci man now. Um, it sound like it's kind of coerced. You know, it sound like he was kind of um, made to apologize whatever for whatever reason. Maybe Gucci Man sent some goons after him. Maybe Gucci Man got on the phone to him. He got to fix it. He got to apologize. Who knows? But usually, like I said, man, when you say things, I don't know why he didn't do the due diligence first before he just went out the window and went on live. Because he's making it seem as if he was fed false information and he was told X, Y, and Z. But this is my thing. Before you put your neck out on the line like that and make these type of accusations and cause this type of messiness when people are supposed to be mourning Big Scar, why don't you do your due diligence first? Don't just come out the woodworks and put accusations on somebody, especially like Gucci Man, who was this, who was this man's CEO. Then try to make him look bad to the public. Then now you make yourself look crazy. Then in the live, he says, well, you know, I'm trying to be a rapper, too. I got my rap thing going on. I don't want to get blackballed. It's too late for that. Well, you know, from drop my tape, don't hear me, don't play it, I don't want no smoke, bro. Oh, God, I don't want no smoke. It's too late. You already put yourself on a limb when you said what you said. It's over. I'm pretty sure anybody that's working with Gucci Mane or have worked with Gucci Mane, they're not going to work with you. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to work with you just off the strength. Then not to mention, you making yourself seem like a problem, like a headache. Then y'all taking this man jewelry, it's, it's giving vibes like... <laughs> That's the only jewelry y'all have. Like, it's giving vibes like y'all want a 1017 chain so bad. You know what I'm saying? Give that man back the jewelry. Well, my thing is this, right? Even if you don't give it back, you know, because I know it's part of Big Scar's legacy. Um, I would say not to give it back, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. Um, we know it for being Big Scars. You know, we we know it for being a part of his legacy. So at the end of the day, I feel nobody should wear it. You know, at the end of the day, y'all put that up. Y'all put his jewelry up. Nobody wear it. Nobody touch it. That's like memorabilia. Now, maybe that's why Gucci Man wanted to change back in the first place because he didn't just want people walking around with a 1017 chain on. That's not 1017. They were saying, well, my brother earned it. Um, We're not giving it back. Well, guess what? Your brother earned it. So why are y'all walking around with this man's chain on? You see what I'm saying? Now, think about it like this. If something happens to one of these dudes and they got a 1017 chain on and they t somebody take the 1017 chain from Quez, Rufus, or, or Big Scar's sister, guess what happens? They're not going to say that they took it from Quez, Rufus. They're going to say, hey, we got 1017 chains. You see what I'm saying? We got Gucci Man chain. Tell Gucci Man if he want it, he got to buy it back. You know? Or they can make up a lie. Or we just robbed one of Gucci Mane artists. Or we robbed Gucci Mane. Or we robbed such and such. That's what people do these days. They want clout. They do anything for clout. So maybe that's why he wanted back. And I can't lie. At first, I didn't think of it like that. I'm like, all right, well, Gucci want, you know, the chains back. Uh, nah, I feel Big Scar should keep it. But now once I see what they're doing with the chains, now it makes sense. Put that man chains up. Leave that man chains alone. If you're not going to give it back, stop wearing it. So, 
um it seems like and then everything came crashing down because they were alleging what they were alleging but big scar's father came out and he pretty much apologized to gucci on their behalf and said that yo that man is it wrong he gave my son an opportunity you see what I'm saying? He did what he did. He gave the 10000 How y'all going to sit there and say the man didn't give any money? And then when it comes out that he got receipts that he gave money, now you're going to say it's a little 10 k That's crazy. So the father came out and said, listen, I appreciate what you done did for my kid. Despite what the rest of them say, I appreciate what you did for him. You gave him an opportunity. You gave and played your part with the 10 k Forget what they talking about. And I respect that. Now, when it comes to Big Scar's girlfriend, she also has something to say. And she also feels how we feel about it being embarrassing on Big Scar's behalf. Because y'all got to remember. Now, when you think about Big Scar, instead of everybody mourning him the correct way and remembering his legacy or remembering who he, with, uh, who he was, guess what? The first thing they're going to say, oh, well... Um, the family said Gucci Man didn't contribute any money. Oh, y'all remember when when Quez Ruthless went live and said that Gucci Man didn't do this? Or y'all remember when Gucci had to upload the receipts? Or his wife had to upload the receipts and show that that 10K was paid out? Oh, y'all remember when the father had to come to the rescue? Oh, y'all remember? You see what I'm saying? Everything but what's important. Now, um, Big Scar's girlfriend. She took to Instagram to talk about everything. She said, quote, y'all really failed Alex as family and friends. Y'all aired out all his personal business from the preparation to the funeral till afterwards. What the F happened to privacy? Flexing his jewelry like it's yours? Put his ish up. He not here to put it on so you don't wear his ish. Embarrassing as hell. It's only one big scar. He could never be duplicated. Can't even grieve in peace. Too much clout chasing going on. Ish disgusting all right so you know it it just goes to show that everybody not on the same page as them you know and like-minded people are thinking alike this is embarrassing you know you're making a mockery out yourself i don't know maybe it's for his rap career maybe he wanted a little bit of clout who knows what it is but you're going by it the wrong way man all right but other than that man rest in peace to big scar i'm glad they was able to lay him to rest um, hopefully everybody can get over the messiness. It's been confirmed that Gucci Mane did pay something to the funeral. And that's that. All right. Quez issued an apology. Hopefully we can sweep this under the rug and remember Big Scar for being Big Scar in his music. Simple. Now y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.